fuss and bother over centerfire rifle cartridges, which we're constantly studying and comparing ballistics for. Um, in the end, I think we all shoot the 22 rimfire probably more often than anything else. And there have been some new rounds that have shown up uh, last 10 years or a little longer maybe. The 17 HMR based on the 22 Magnum. That's a great round. Somehow I went to put out all these 22 or rather rimfire rounds and my, uh, my 17 HMR supply seems to be depleted. But anyway, it looks a lot like the 22 Magnum. And we tried to lay out the cartridges so they're more or less in the order of the boxes because sometimes after people watch my videos they ask me for a piece of paper that would identify each round and um, as you know I'm a little clumsy with getting everything organized but um, yeah so I mean on your left is a 22 short uh, next to it is a is a 22 Calibri um, which is made by Aguila that's got the, the, the short lead bullet and uh, Calibri means hummingbird um, and that's a that you are you hardly hear that round fire it's actually no powder just the primer uh, priming compound in the rim uh, next to the Calibri is uh, 22 quiet uh, CCI product the red tip cartridge is 17 Mach 2 then comes the 22 Winchester rim fire which uh, was used in some older Winchester semi-automatics and some other rifles as well. It's actually a nice round. And then they lengthened the 22 Winchester rimfire and made the 22 Magnum. And next to that is sort of the star of today's show. That's the 5mm um, Remington Magnum, which came out in the rifle, which is in front of me, the 591M Remington. And then the most powerful of all the currently loaded rim fires that I know of anyway is the 17 Winchester Super Magnum. And some people um, somehow modify that case and make 25 rim fire cartridges out of it. And I think we talked about that on Patreon. Uh, I put out some product from Germany. That's the six millimeter, uh, essentially very short 22. Uh, cartridges they're actually more powerful than one thinks and the quiet CCI 22 is a lot quieter than these German rounds but I put them out just because it's one of the rim fires that I use and uh, it's actually very helpful in some some situations and with certain guns especially old rim fires uh, then I put out a couple of shot shells for, you, for those of you that don't realize there are rimfire shot shells available. It's very small shot, but it's effective on vermin and stuff like that. If you've got a moving target at close range, sometimes uh, targets can be very skittish and sudden in their movements. And then way over here, I've got this funny box. You know, I buy funny stuff sometimes, and I think it was at an auction, pretty sure. And um, I, I bought this along with a bunch of other stuff. And in there, I was really lucky. I thought maybe there are some old uh, whatever that is, eucalyptus, uh, you can read it, I can't read it right now, um, candies or something from, I don't know, 18-something. But somebody put 32 rimfire shells in, and I had an old Smith & Wesson uh, Model 2 or something like that, um, so I fired them, and I was surprised that like every round I fired worked. But then somebody had to have the Smith & Wesson, so that's gone, so I'm left with those 32 rimfire but they really should make the 25 rimfire and the 32 rimfire again. Rimfires are just so useful. And before I show you this 591M and talk briefly about the 5mm, I should mention that for a couple of years I worked um, with indigenous people and in their communities. And because these fellows are in nature all the time, and the women too, I've really never seen um, more natural shots or finer shots. It was, it was, you had to be there to see how well they could shoot. And uh, a lot of what they did was with the 22 long rifle or the 22 Magnum. Uh, a lot of them had 22 Magnum. And I saw them drop all kinds of things, which like I said, you wouldn't believe, but having seen it, I know it's true. And aerial targets as well 
with the 22. And uh, yeah, anyway, I just had to throw that in because I, I, it's pro I, probably from them I learned how amazingly effective uh, the rimfire cartridge, the 22 long rifle and the Magnum is. Anyhow, years ago I bought this Remington and again, I don't, you know, I don't remember exactly where, but I, it, it, to me it looks flat new and you can see it's got a cool little pistol grip cap here. And this, this is the five millimeter Magnum rimfire version, but they made, this was a family of 22s that they made for a while. And they made kind of a custom sporter as well. And every one of these, probably moving around too much, every one of these is worth buying. This is probably one of the most accurate families of 22s that I've ever owned. I would have a, a 22 long rifle on the table for you. But as I've mentioned before, I, I buy the rifle and then I go to the range and then um, usually I find rifles that are in, in extra fine condition, maybe clean them up a little so that I, I usually sell them to my friends, not at a profit or anything, just to, to keep going and I can't keep them all anyway. So, but I had this five millimeter for a long time and if I'm not wrong, it maybe came with some rounds and I tried them and uh, I think it something like seven or ten cartridges so I tried them and that was about it and I, I don't remember I, I, I was impressed by what I thought was a great cartridge with excellent ballistics and you can see on this big brick like this is from Mexico um, I think it says 30 grain bullet 2200 feet per second it's hard for me to remember everything uh, this is a really flat shooting 20 caliber, I guess, cartridge, and it's too bad that it went out of production for so long. So you can see I kind of invested in a brick in case the Gila decides to stop making it. I don't know. I hope not. I actually hope more companies start making 5mm Magnum. Um, it's an extraordinary cartridge, and that 30 grain bullet is super and less prone to wind drift. The 17s are great, like the HMR, a uh, total success. Um, I also like the red-tipped cartridge, the Mach 2. That's a super little round. Ruger made a uh, bolt action. Maybe they still do, but I don't think so, for a little while. And I bought one of those, and that's one of the most fun cartridges to shoot. And with the 17s, of course, you have virtually zero recoil. If you get a decent scope and for these cartridges of course scopes are are good although iron sights are, are should be on the rifle as well uh, but you can actually uh, watch your your bullets hitting the target with the 17s or most of them because there there is no jarring of the scope you never lose sight I'm not sure that's true with the 17 Winchester Super Magnum that's a really powerful one around that's on your on your right and then next to that is the five millimeter, and like I said, the the uh, third one from your right is the 22 Winchester Magnum. Um, so I mean, these are extremely useful rimfire rounds. Uh, as as you know, this channel is watched around the world, and I'm always amazed. Um, there are lots of places where we're familiar with these. But some people have never seen these. They, they don't even know that they exist except maybe the 22 Rimfire. But these are, generally speaking, I mean, not as cheap as we would like them to be. The 5mm is not cheap at all, actually. But nevertheless, overall, as a family, the 22, the 22 Rimfires, the long rifle, long and short, I don't have a long on the table. Um, they're so economical. So. Uh, Probably most of us learn to shoot with them, if not air rifles. I thought I should make a, a quick video just showing you all these cartridges and then happened to come across the 32 rimfire, which was sort of a bonus find because my ammunition is sometimes in kind of, kind of a jumble. I'm sure some of you are familiar with that. But yeah, so if you can find one of these and get a hold of some of this new Aguila ammunition, it gives you something. Uh, to work on and take to the range that maybe not that many people have But I think you'll be impressed by that by that five millimeter magnum and um, I always tell friends and collectors 
send a note to the factories, write Savage or write somebody and say, introduce, uh, uh, it's not that hard to chamber a few rifles in five millimeter Magnum. And there seems to be a growing appetite for rimfire ammunition just because it is affordable and you don't have to think about reloading it. And some of these, I mean, kind of in a way replace cartridges like the, seven, the uh, 17 Hornet and the 22 Hornet. Now they're more powerful, but you know what I mean. The rimfires are reaching a long ways out. That's probably all I had to tell you about it. So it's actually a very simple and um, good video to make just because it's so, I think, easy to understand and so practical. And I'm not sure if some of you maybe will write me where to get these because that happens all the time. Um, I, I would just contact my local gun store. If they don't have them, they'll find a distributor because they're very common in Europe. There's even a four millimeter version which goes into um, cartridge adapters, which I have, but I don't have any right now to show you. In any event, thank you very much for watching. As I've said before, my videos continue to be censored and uh, so, but I love making them anyway, but if you can support me on Patreon, I appreciate that. And um, I guess some people are trying to build kind of an Instagram presence for me, which I appreciate. So if you can, look at that somewhere on the screen is a way to to go on Instagram and of course subscribe in the first place on YouTube because things could change maybe my videos won't be banned uh, people are trying all the kinds of things and send, sending me initiatives to kind of try to reverse that but I, I always think that if something doesn't make sense eventually everybody will realize that including YouTube and it just doesn't make sense to censor these kinds of videos and say that, you know, they're not suitable for advertisers. In any event, I don't want to lament about that, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all doing well, and we'll see you on the next video.